Last year, we installed two rain barrels for our garden and we're adding two items to improve water pressure. These rain barrels are set up near a downspout and we installed a diverter that easily connects to the side of the downspout. This redirects water into the barrel while allowing excess water to flow through the downspout as usual. First off, having a rain barrel is not only a fantastic way to conserve water, but the water collected from the rain contains nitrogen which is very beneficial for plant growth. Before adding on these two upgrades, we were actually collecting rainwater from our barrel using a watering can. Going back and forth collecting water took a lot of time, but we kept going with this because it helps our seedlings grow much faster. We use rainwater all over our garden, including our greenhouse and covered beds. Because these areas don't get rained on, we still want to plant inside this sheltered areas to have access to good rainwater. I'm sure you've noticed this in your garden too, after a few days of rainfall, everything seems to be noticeably bigger. Which is why we use rainwater as much as possible in the garden. And this includes seed starting. We use rainwater and mix it with our seed starting medium to improve germination. We notice that the seeds germinate much better and the less we use the tap water, the better. So today I'm going to show you two items that improved our rain barrel so that we can water everything in our garden and save so much time. The first item that we installed is the Vego High Flow Retractable Hose Reel. We went with a 100 foot long hose to reach every corner of our garden. I'm really happy with my choice here. This hose reel is really fantastic for organizing your hose and making it easy to water your plants without tangling. It is kink resistant and because it's high flow, this will work really well with our rain barrel. And the setup was really easy too. You can install it on a brick wall or a wooden post that is close enough to a water source like a rain barrel. Once you've chosen your ideal spot, it's really easy to install this. First, you want to measure how high you want to install the hose reel. Ideally, you want to install this approximately waist height and up to 5 feet. And if you are using a wooden post to install this, you want it to be at least 4 by 4. Once you're happy with the height, all you have to do is mark your spot and drill 4 holes for your mounting bracket. Once that's done, all you have to do is attach the hose reel into the mounting bracket. There's a doorway just behind where we installed the hose reel which leads into an under deck storage. And since this can actually swivel up to 180 degrees, it wasn't an issue at all to install it in this spot. This feature not only allows you to move the hose where you want it to go, but also prevents passageway from being blocked. Now it's time to connect this hose reel into our rain barrel. First, I'm going to connect the tap end by attaching a female thread quick connector. With the quick connector, it makes it easy to connect and disconnect the hose and also makes it convenient to move this into a different spot if needed. And if you do want to move your hose reel into a different spot, I suggest getting a second mounting bracket. And when your rain barrel is empty, you can lift the hose reel and move it next to your tap water. Since our rain barrel is a little bit further away from where we installed the hose reel, we needed to use a hose extension. So now I'm attaching the male thread quick connector into this hose extension. Afterwards, all you have to do is click the two ends together to connect the hose. In order for this to work, I needed to increase the water pressure coming out of the rain barrel. To do this, I installed a 50 PSI water pump right next to the rain barrels. With the output end of the water pump, I'm installing the extended hose that's connected to the hose reel. I'm making sure to tighten everything so that there's no leaks. The other end of the water pump is then connected into the rain barrel. And since I have two rain barrels, I attach quick connectors so that I can easily move from one rain barrel to another. With the way I installed the rain barrel, one is actually one foot lower than the other. It was set up this way so when the first one fills up, the excess water will flow into a tube that goes into the second barrel. The water pump does require power but it will automatically stop once it reaches a certain pressure and when it's not being used. And to prevent water damage to the plugs, I installed a cover for it. Now it's time to attach the spray nozzle. This set comes with quick connectors and two nozzle type. But for my purpose, I'm mainly going to use the 9 pattern spray nozzle. If I do ever switch nozzles, the quick connector makes that process really simple. Now that we're done, it's time to test if this works. First, I'm going to test how easy it is to use this hose reel. To unwind, all you have to do is gently pull on the hose and lock it at desired length by pulling slightly harder to fully extend the hose. 
To retract, all you need to do is release the lock by pulling the hose while gently guiding it back to the wheel. Just note at full extension, you may need to pull harder to retract. If the hose becomes jammed, gently pull out and retract it again. Now with the water pump installed into the rain barrel and Vago high flow retractable reel, it's time to see how much water pressure we get. Right away this thing was working with high pressure. I'm really happy how this turned out. It's amazing that we can use free water just by collecting rain. This setup will also save us so much time to water everything in our garden. And just to show you how much water pressure we're getting out of this, I'm trying out all 9 spray patterns. If you do collect rainwater using a rain barrel and you're looking for a way to connect a hose to it, I highly recommend Vego High Flow Hose Reel and a combination of water pump. This will make your rain barrel more efficient and have a more sustainable garden. We hope that you find this video useful and informative. Please like and follow at Planted in a Garden for more gardening tips.